If you are a pet parent, you know that sometimes, as adorable as they are, they don't always smell adorable, or at least the smells they emit can be, well, let's just say, fragrant. When our dog's digestive tract is out of balance, we all, all suffer. With us today to discuss how to fight off the nasties in your dog's tummy is Mika Wheelwright of Phytobiotics, whose official company title, the chief of everything. Well, that says it all. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for being here. Who's this? This is Cody. He's our little six-year-old friend joining us today. He is so good. Yeah, I know, huh? He's great. I got to tell you, we have... um. We have Ruby at home. She's a little smaller. She's our toy poodle. And, uh, you know, as cute as these uh, animals are, and we love our dog, you know, man's best friend. Yeah. <clears throat> sometimes their digestive tract gets out of whack, and I can't just begin to tell you what, it's, what it smells like, right? <laughs> right. It's pretty nasty sometimes, right? <laughs> What's going on in their diet? What's going on there? Well, actually, if you think about it, a lot of the times your dog or your pup is eating things that you probably don't really want them to eat, like the chicken you left out to the spa, <laughs> some miscellaneous squirrel parts, I don't know. But not only that, but um, you know, a lot of the things affect their stomachs also, like stress, um, the environment that they're in, if they're taking any medications, things like that. So all those things can kind of lower their immune system, and in doing so, they get sick, and they have inflammation, diarrhea, et cetera. So interesting point, um, 70 to 90% of a dog's immune function lies within the digestion tract. So definitely taking a probiotic to help within that immune system. And let's talk about that because I've been reading a lot about probiotics. What exactly are they? I mean, should we should we be aware of our pets as well with that? Oh my gosh, most definitely. Mm -hmm. Probiotics essentially means for life in the Greek language. Um, they are live bacteria. Scientifically, the name is microflora. I like, oh. to, I like to call them good bugs because it's easier. Um, but good anyways, <laughs> they enhance digestion and they help absorb nutrients in your food. Um, they also fight against the bad bugs, if you will, that creates illnesses. Ideally, what you want is 80% good neutral bugs versus 20 percent bad bugs in your system. That's kind of the healthy dharma. And your company specializes in probiotic supplements. So what was the inspiration behind that? Yes, um, my dog Pledge, actually. He's like most dogs. He thinks he's human. And so interesting, everyone in my family has had knee, uh, knee surgery, knee injuries. So it wasn't really this big, huge thing when Pledge needed knee surgery also, and he blew out his knee. How coincidental. I know, so crazy. Anyway, he went to surgery, and then he had, uh, he took some antibiotics, and you oh, know, his yeah. belly was just not 100%. It was, you know, inflammation and just all of these bad things. So we figured, well, we take probiotics. Why, why can't they? Yeah, why can't Pledge? What a great idea. Yeah, so we gave them to him, and he definitely helped his system and calmed down a little bit more. All right, so let's talk about phytobiotics and why it's so important for our pooches. Yes, Phytobiotics is a three product line, supplement line. Each of them has a health benefit to them. So one of the products is called Good Guts. It helps with extreme digestion. Um, it also helps with aging, absorbing nutrients into their food. It's the most efficacious product that we have. Okay. Um, the other product is Puppy Breath Crusher. It helps with the, the sour kisses so that they're more syrupy ones. Oh, I, I, I know a lot of owners that can use that. Okay. Yes. Um, that's a treat. And then the last one, which is my personal favorite, is called Relax and Rover. It, it comes in a sachet form. It helps calm the dogs down naturally. We use some valerian root, I'll tryptophan in there, ginger. So it's all natural, GMO, and gluten-free also. I actually brought a little bit of Cody's uh, food this morning. Cassandra, if you can bring it out, she's going to be my lovely oh, Vanna White. Thank you. Thank you, Cassandra. What did you put in Cody's food? Actually, I'm going to help Cody come yeah. up here. What did um, you put in her food? I put in the Relax and Rover, and I just sprinkled it on top of the food. You just sprinkle it on top, and they'll just eat it with it. It tastes really good. It's flavored salmon sushi, so they love it. And I know you guys have a strategy when it comes to your packaging, and you're different when it comes to Thank you. you know showcasing this. Tell me about that. Well, I really wanted to create an emotional experience for the consumer um, because you know when you go to the store, you, the last thing you want to do is like buy a supplement for you or for your animal. It's kind of boring. So I really wanted to create that energy around it. I also wanted to create a packaging that was safe for the probiotics within which they would live. So when I'm looking for a probiotic for my dog, what should I look for? Because they're alive bacteria, you should realize that they can die very easy. So with moisture or temperature, they can die. So the three things I would say to look for would be CFU count, that's colony forming units. Okay. That essentially says how strong the probiotic is, how efficacious it is. If it's not on the package, then you probably don't really wanna buy it because they're not even counting it. They're not even testing it. Got it. Packaging is also important because of that. So look for, you wanna buy it probably in a delivery system, which is capsules, sachets, uh, blister packet. Makes a difference. Yes, most definitely. And then also to 
you want to look for uh, multiple strands of probiotics. By having multiple strands, you're going to have a larger health variety of benefits that it will do for you. You know, at the end of the day, if it's important to us, it's important to our, our lovable dogs. Well, of course. Well, they're our family too, right? Exactly. And if I decide to do this for Ruby, she's really tiny. She can also take this. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. No worries. For sure. Of course she can. Definitely. Great benefits. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And before I leave, also, where do you find... Oh, Phytobiotics. Phytobiotics.com or doggyloo.com also features us. And, you know, ask your local pet shops to carry us because, you know, we're brand new and we're just trying to get the word out there. And it's very important to do so. Yes, most definitely. Thank you. And I gotta tell you, this is the star this morning. Yeah, he's, su he's super great. Cody has been, his owner must be amazing. He must be, yes. Oh, the owner just happens to be my producer. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Cody. I can't say thank you, Mika. Oh, Chris, you've done a great job with your dog. What happened to you? Just kidding. Well, if you'd like to learn more about probiotics and making your pet the healthiest he or she can be, join us at thebalancingact.com or log on to Facebook. We'd love to hear from you. That's Facebook forward slash thebalancingactfans. Oh, Cody, we're just kidding. We love our producer.